Hey, welcome back. This is our second vlog, Classic Car Studio. Check us out, ClassicCarStudio.com, on YouTube, on the Instagram, on Facebook, if you still use it. Some of you do, that's okay. Um, this is our office. We said we start here, you know, probably the least exciting place in here, but lots of good stuff going on. This is our Scottish golfer. We've been, we've been dragging him around for the last 14 years, wherever we went. Um, Somehow is the only thing that we haven't lost, but he hasn't lost us either, so it's, it's important. Um, we got all our t-shirts behind us. We send out a lot of t-shirts on a weekly basis all over the country and all over the world. So always t-shirts. And our gift shop, which I think I started in last time, is out here. So in the, uh, in the old fishbowl, we have our podcast room. We'll be starting up our second podcast season. It's been pretty busy in the last three months, just slammed. So I come on out to the gift shop and I'll walk you through the showroom, show you some new. Our gift shop is in here. And the distillery is back there. There's Brandon making rum in the corner. Hey, you wave when we, thank you. <laughs> Brandon's just back there making some making some rum products. Again, the distillery and the gift shop. So got a charger that just came in, built probably 15 years ago. Still really really nice. We're gonna be doing some work on it for the customer. Nice custom. Paint and body work still excellent. So thinking about doing a color change for them, new interior, clean up the engine compartment a little bit, modernize it. But again, a really well-built car that's held up. He just wants to change things around a little bit. Hey, 1987 F-150 and it's a one owner truck Nice woman, she works at Boeing, and she's about to retire. She wanted to completely restore her old truck. So it may be, let's just say it probably is, it is the nicest F-150 in the country. It is totally new, rotisserie restored, nut and bolt from top to bottom. Uh, very, very nice truck. So let's check out under the hood. We got rid of all the original fuel injection garbage. We now have a sniper system, so we were able to clean it up quite a bit, make it look a lot better. But again, everything is new on this thing from top to bottom. We got a new vintage air system in it as well, so we got rid of the original AC components. So we're running Holly and vintage air. Um, a new Ford Racing crate engine, which is, which is nice. So makes more power, cleaner setup. But beyond that, pretty much all stock. The interior is pretty sweet. Girls in the interior shop did an awesome job. Pretty close to stock. We did paint the dash brown. We've got all relic kit leather, nice custom seats, mild custom door panels. Show them the seats. Show them the seats. I like those seats. Oh yeah, that, those are seats right there. <laughs> This one, it's basically finished. Again, we do about three, 500 test miles. Ooh, check out the bed, the bed's nice. So, we've got an epoxy finish. Usually they do these in polyurethane. We have an epoxy finish on this wood, so it's totally flat. It's all wet sanded and buffed out, so kind of took it to the next level there, but it looks really nice. A little dirty at the moment, but again, we're doing some test driving and ready to get this thing out the door. Big old caddy. We have a new 67 Chevelle that came in. Nice car. That'll be up for sale soon. Really slick. Great body work. Very, very nice paint. All wet sanded. Slicked out. No orange peel. And this Corvette is a customer's car. 
We've been doing a little service work to it. We got a lot of vehicles in here that local people drive. And uh, he actually bought this at Bear Jackson. And we're just making a few tweaks on him. Make it his. Keep it the way he wants it. Or make it the way he wants it. Pretty nice LS setup. Really nice driving car. About as classy as they get. So. You might recognize this Triumph. We built it on season one of Speed is the New Black. Customer lives about 20 miles away from here. Just doing some seasonal service. Had some bad gas in the tank. Didn't want to start up. We got all that cleaned out. Cleaned out some garbage that was in his carb. And he's good to go. So just a little bit of tune-up action. One of my favorite trucks we built, the 53 Ford. We had this truck at SEMA in the Magnaflow booth. We did take it on Leno's garage. That was a good time. It gets driven quite a bit. Our customer, Rob, lives locally. And uh, I'm going to detail it to him and give it back to him. But Rob does get out and drive his stuff. It rides on a TCI chassis. It has a Ford racing engine, vintage air, uh, Willwood brakes, just nice, nice parts. A bunch of cool little mild touches to it. But uh, got the shaved drip rails. Um, Mark custom made these running boards on the side. Pretty slick. Big offset on the back wheel. These are wheels made by Hot Rods by Boyd. Boyd's son. Bed super cool. Did a matte finish on the wood. Nice custom stainless worked in. No hardware. Nice and slick. And then in the rear, got a custom roll pan. The license plate is actually housed inside here and it drops out or it gets sucked back in when you're being chased by the police. Which happens if you're having a good time. So back in this corner we have our paint booth. Behind that is the mixing room and this Ferrari, which we just painted, is going back together. So Chris has been doing some reassembly. We blew it completely apart to paint it. But it is a really kick-ass Viper color. It's really, really vibrant. It's a, technically called a tri-coat. But it really looks incredible. A little bit nicer than Ferrari originally painted them. Actually. A lot nicer. Sorry, Ferrari. <laughs> but it happens. So really nice BASF glass or a paint. They're just doing the reassembly. And then, uh, man, hopefully next week, maybe we'll get you some finished video of it. We got a really nice 68 C10 we just got in. Really clean truck. Great paint. Drives awesome. Did the power tour last year. Can't find the hood latch. Got it. Nice clean engine compartment. It's got aluminum heads, nice Edelbrock intake, big radiator, runs and drives, big long tube headers, power steering, power brakes, you know, the standard stuff, but kick-ass stance. I love the uh, Billet Specialties Vintech, kind of a cool classic wheel, so. Not a lot of people have seen this car. We never took it to shows, never went to SEMA, but it is a really badass car. Um, father and son up in Chicago had us build it for them. So, as you can see, it's got some really nice Billet Specialties wheels, B-forged wheels, so the forged wheel, their forged line. It rides on a Roger Shop spec chassis. We did a complete rotisserie restoration on this car, so stripped it down to bare metal. Everything's been redone, top to bottom. There's the offset on the front. Not crazy like the back, but it looks awesome. We've got big bare. Six piston brakes all the way around. Actually, six in front, four pistons in the back. The engine's an LS7. 
We've got Billet Specialties True Track System. Willwood Master. Pretty simple in here. You know, built to be driven, built to be used, but it's all restored, all cleaned up. Smooth out the firewall. All the trims new, all the glass new, every single line hose, all the wiring. It's a total build from top to bottom. Really a badass car to drive. It just gets after it. LS7 is a tried and true engine. Real easy to maintain. Very, very reliable. So, Did the interior pretty, pretty close to stock. We've got stock bucket, stock console. This is the way they wanted it. We do have a really cool billet specialty steering wheel. All new wiring, all new sound editing, real nice stereo. Dakota digital gauges, nice clean look. So this one, uh, we finished it two months ago. It has about 800 miles on it now. And it's just in for a uh, quick check over and then it'll go back up to Chicago. We made some more progress on the Ford. It's all going back together now. We had some interference coming off the fuel injection, but got the carpeting going in. Oh, show that carpeting. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a real nice thread pattern in it. The headliner's in. That center section of the headliner as soon as it does light up, I'll show you. It's got fiber optic line around it, so it lights, lights up at night. It's pretty badass looking. Power windows all the way around. They work really well. So um, next week this time, we should have the door panels on. We should have the seats in and hopefully driving this thing down the road. We did, I think since last time, get the front of this on. We've got the grill on, the dogs on top of the hood. Oh, that sound like DMX. Nope. They say no. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the, this is a cool piece. This is the air cleaner for the 66 Chevelle. It's custom built over here. And um, last week, I don't remember if you saw it, but we had a, the, we're gonna mess Mark up. The top is actually CNC'd out of billet. So that's all custom one-off billet piece. That's pretty cool. But that was just about that big. So the sides Mark made last week. Out of aluminum. Not a billet of aluminum, but aluminum. So you can see the machining from the, uh, the mill. But he's got this going together. Air cleaner goes under there. And then we've got this little guys, which will stick out here so pretty slick piece turned out really well this engine compartment is kind of looking like a modernized uh, little modernized vintage look cleaned up a little bit actually a lot so it is an ls3 just so you can see what it's going on we've got an ls3 and uh, it's going to be nice and clean Look like a carbureted engine, but pretty cool LS setup. Come on over to the interior shop, wrap it up with a few seats. A lot of people don't know we do interiors in-house, but we do all of our interiors in-house. We do all of our paint and body work, sheet metal, fab, electrical, mechanical. We do everything in-house. We don't have a machine shop, but Molly and Laura in the interior shop have been doing some awesome stuff. So here's a few different seats that, uh, that we're doing. I'll kind of go over what they did here. So these are both Recaro seats and uh, we like the Recaro seat and we buy them in the plainest form. And then we go through and customize the foam and do some really nice leather work on them. So these are the same model seat done differently. These uh, this red seat is for that Chevelle that I just showed you the air cleaner on and then the uh, pattern sewn into the center that's done on like a CNC sewing machine. So you can do any really cool pattern. Um, we've got the little emblem on here to kind of give it a little bit of a throwback look. And then 
This seat, also, like I said, a Recaro seat, is for a 70 Cheval we're doing, which I don't think you guys have seen yet, but it's got a thousand horsepower Wagner engine in it, but more of a modern look. And um, this is out perforated Alcantara center, and then it's got this really cool Alcantara red stripe with the non-perforated black on the outside. So very comfortable, sporty, and then we kind of work with the bolsters and make it so it's you know comfortable for the customer. Everybody's a different shape and size, so kind of work the seat around them and really, really give them a custom feel and finish. So my new most favorite seat we've done, these are for our, well, our new shop truck. We've, we've had a number of different shop trucks, but our most used shop truck for running around town was actually a Ford F-350 which someone stole off the side of our building. So that truck is gone now. Anyway, I got kind of bummed out. It was a great truck and nice 73 engine. So we bought a new OBS truck or a new old OBS truck. And these are the seats that are going in it. So got super cool plaid in the center, um, blue leather on the outside. And uh, man, they're gonna, they're gonna look awesome. So they just finished doing these. And then we're gonna do the inside. I'll, I'll kind of show you guys next time as we go through got plaid in the headliner. It should be pretty crazy looking. May even do a plaid stripe on the outside if no one can talk me out of it. Look pretty hideous, but no one else will have that. So again, thanks for coming along. Check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, if you're still on it. And uh, again, signing off. That's vlog number two. Two, 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 two. Thanks for coming to our YouTube page. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. If you want notifications, Click on the bell. If you want to buy some cool merch, click on the info card or you can click on the link in the bio.